in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play Roundabout uh, by Yes. And this is a, uh, you know, this is a great, great song to play on the bass. And it's difficult. And this is going to be an advanced song. There's meter changes. Yes is a very difficult band to play. They do all sorts of interesting stuff. They use a lot of different harmony. Um, and Chris Squire is a great bass player. He plays with a pick. And he's really aggressive. And there's, there's, there's a lot of rhythm um, in this chart. So prepare yourself for a complicated chart here with uh, Roundabout. Um, so the, the beginning of the, of the bass part uh, comes in when, uh, after the whole guitar intro, the, the harmonics, all that sort of stuff, um, goes on for quite a while. But then the bass comes in with that riff. And uh, this is all in E minor, so uh, that's, that's the key we're in for the, for the song. And the song does change keys later on, but uh, by and large everything is in E minor. So let's take a look at an E minor scale, starting with the open, open E here. E, F sharp, G, open A. B, C, D, E. So on the page, we're in, uh, one sharp, it's key of G, this is the relative minor of G major, is E minor. And the, the riff is based on the E minor scale, kind of pentatonic, although we have the little second degree uh, also in there. This, this is going to be kind of hard to show you because a lot of what he's doing um, involves dead notes. As you'll see on the chart, I've got it all charted out here, but it, it's played so fast you kind of have to get it into rhythm before it, it feels right. So um, I've got my pick hand just sort of playing 16th notes the whole time. Some of those 16th notes are going to be dead notes. Uh, some of them are going to be fretted. Um, but basically, your, your hand is moving the whole time you're playing this riff. And some, I'm hammering on for some of these too, but, but my, hand, my right hand is still moving. It's those middle notes that get syncopated, so they're they're gonna end up being on upstrokes when you when you go to the B or pick, picking up to the B. Um, the first three notes relatively simple. The E F sharp and G. And, and I'm, you know, I have on the chart here, I have the, uh, the, that E being played a second time. So it's like E, dead, dead, F sharp, E, dead note, G. So it's like I'm sort of playing the open G on the downstroke and then muting on the upstroke and then on the next downstroke hitting the G. This is, again, you're going to have to practice this slow and get your rhythm going with your right hand before it's going to start and speed it up before it starts to feel good. Um, and then when we get into uh, the next notes, the A and the B, kind of hammering on there for when I go to that B there. Even though my picking hand will keep moving, it might just lift up for a second. It's, kind of, it's Again, slowing it down is difficult, really.
getting that off beat on the uh of three, like three E and uh on the open A is kind of a key syncopating point in the riff. That right there. One, two, three. One, two, three, and ah. Uh. One, two, three, and ah. Uh. That's to get the feel of the part there. That's a critical rhythm. So I'm trying to speed it up slowly, but uh, hopefully you get the idea there. So, uh, okay, so that is the main riff, and it's played a lot in the song. 